All right, meanwhile, 25 minutes after the top of the hour, President Trump, uh, he is condemning the left-wing activists uh, for the protests against Justice Kavanaugh, calling them an angry mob. Well, now Congresswoman Maxine Waters is firing back. She's accusing our president of being violent. This president is the poster boy uh, for what a mob uh, protester looks like. He is, a matter of fact, He's the one who has been violent in his speech. We don't have that kind of talk that has come from the women who are protesting. Really? Our next guest is running against Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Republican California Congressman, uh, candidate himself, Omar Navarro, joins us right now. Omar, do you think that Maxine Waters is acting responsible and she's just doing things in response to the president's speeches? Yeah, what Maxine Waters is trying to do, she's trying to divide people. She's not preaching a message of unity. Uh, what we need to bring back is a balance of unity, and we need to make sure that we're working with the President of the United States, not against his interest. All right, tell us a little bit about yourself. For folks that are watching that are able to vote for you, why should they go to the polls? Definitely. I mean, it's very important that we turn out. This election is going to be the most important election. Maxine Waters represents probably one of the most divisive figures in our country. Uh, she's in trying to impeach the president. She's trying to fight the president every step of the way. I'm for America first. I'm for MAGA. I'm for working with the president, not working against his interests. We have to make sure that we are working for him, not against him. That's how we're going to get true policy done. That's how we're going to get things done in this country. And that's how we're going to work right. hard for the American people. I'm here to represent the state, the country, and to represent every American out there. Oh, Omar, does she even live in the district? No, she lives outside the district in a $4.5 million mansion. I live with the people. I eat with the people. You know, I'm a part of that district. I was born and raised there. You know, that's what we need. We need people that are born and raised in those air in the communities that they want to represent. And it's time for us to do something and take action. Every American out there has the power to remove Maxine Waters and to support my campaign financially. I need the help. Uh, they can go to my website at omarnavarro.com to do that. Omar, why does she keep winning in that area? She continues to win because people haven't run a clean, legitimate campaign. Things changed back in 2012. The district demographically has changed. It's 54 percent of the district is now Hispanic Latino. When I go out to the community and I talk to voters, they're very dissatisfied that Maxine Waters is trying to advocate for violence. Right. Not only is she advocating for violence towards the president, his supporters, she's advocating for violence in general. People don't want someone so divisive in our country. They want someone who's going to bring us together right. and stop dividing us. We need to bring common sense solutions into the ground and not divide this country anymore. Well, Democrats are on a losing streak and they're angry. It's not just Maxine Waters. Listen to some of them, some others who have said things that I believe are irresponsible. Go to the hill today. Get up and please get up in the face of some Congress people. If you see anybody from that cabinet, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them and you tell them they're not welcome. Michelle says that, you know, when they go low, we go high. No. No. When they go low, we kick them. What's your response? Again, this is the same rhetoric from the from the left. I mean, they are divisive. I mean, they're advocating for violence. I mean, if you go out there and you see how they treat uh, anybody who wears a red, a red hat, a cap, I mean, they, they tell them to advocate for violence. They tell them to go confront the people and to tell them to kick them out of restaurants. This is what's happening all over Los Angeles. People yeah. can't even wear a red hat without going outside and, and assuming the responsibility of being hurt. Uh, this is what we don't need in our country. We need someone who's going to bring us together. Right. Obviously, my opponent's not going to do that. And I plan on working with the President of the United States out every step of the way and making sure that we are bringing back our country back together and bringing back a balance. All right. Well, Omar, we wish you all the best. She's been in office for a long time. Our producers just did the math and they said she's been in office since you were two years old. We did reach out to her office <laughs> to invite her on the show. So she's welcome. We'd love to have her. Thanks so much. Thank you. Go get him, Omar. Uh, meanwhile,